hi everyone in this tutorial we will further talk about interactive widgets of streamlit and first of all we will talk about a slider which is one of the most important widget of not only streamlit but of every other framework of python and it's very important to discuss this one uh, so previously we were talking about uh, uh, file uploaders okay and in this tutorial uh, we will further talk about some more widgets so, so first of all let's create a slider here uh, i will say sd.slidr slider okay and we have two options slider and select slider and there is a difference between slider and select slider and i have a homework and that is i will explain slider but but it's your homework to uh, see how select slider work and what is the difference between slider and select slider okay so a slider and then inside the slider we have bunch of properties and uh, first of all we have label okay and then we can define the minimum and maximum value of our slider okay and then we have a value property which basically represents our default value of the slider okay and uh, then we have steps and formats and there are a bunch of properties and uh, uh, let's give a label to the slider okay this is basically a heading of our slider and i will call it like uh, uh, this is uh, sorry this is a uh, slid or this is a slider okay a simple heading okay and then uh, we can you can define minimum and minimum and maximum value but uh, i will not go with these values for now okay and just save it and uh, i will open a new terminal and just write here streamlit uh, run man.py hit enter and uh, uh, let's vet okay and yeah uh, this is our slider okay as you can see we have this label we have a slider okay so the maximum minimum property basically represents my this value and the maximum uh, property represents my this value while the value represents the actual value on the slider okay and in this case the value is 48 okay okay so this uh, slider basically returns us this value as well so if i save my vl value in this val variable and uh, let's print the value of this val okay vl save it okay always rerun and as you can see our value is 48 here because uh, the our slider is on 48 okay so if i move this slider to something like 715 as you can see we have a 50, 15 here and if i remove move it to 94 we have 97 first and then 94 okay so this is how the slider work and uh, let's define a minimum value of like uh, minimum value of uh, 50 okay and then uh, maximum value of uh, maybe like uh, 150 okay and then the, the value should be like uh, something around uh, f uh, maybe 70 okay uh, let's save it and yeah as you can see now the minimum value is 50 and the maximum value is 150 and our slider is on 70 and as you can see here we have 70 okay so i hope that uh, you have understood how slider work and again uh, this slider has uh, a callback uh, property as well and that is uh, i think uh, on change okay so yeah here we have this on change property okay and i hope you know very well about this on change property because uh, in the previous uh, tutorial we have talked about this on change property okay so now let's discuss uh, the next uh, what i said the next interactive widget okay so i will remove my this slider for now okay and uh, the next interactive widget which we will discuss in this tutorial is the text input okay so it's very very important to get input from the user and text inputs widgets are one of the most commonly used widget for this purpose okay so just write here text uh, okay so we have uh, here text area and text input so you can consider this uh, text input uh, as uh, if you want the user to enter the title of something okay so a short type of input okay and for that case we use this uh, text input uh, but uh, if you want to get a descriptive input from the user like uh, a paragraph or a whole essay okay uh, for doing uh, a text mining and text analysis operation then uh, you should use the text area okay so we will see both of them in this tutorial so first of all let's discuss text input okay and I will uh, so the text or the heading for my this will be like uh, uh, ENTR enter your 
maybe c o u r c course t i t l e enter your course title okay and uh, you can define we have again bunch of properties like you can define the maximum number of characters okay uh, you can define the default uh, string or the default text for your text uh, input okay and uh, i will discuss them in this tutorial as well so let's save it for now and let's see okay so here we have this uh, label okay which is enter your course title and you can enter the course title like uh, uh, i am your course title okay so it's an awesome line but yeah i am your course title so here you can see that uh, we have uh, a hint here as well which is uh, this press enter to apply so if i hit enter as you can see we have here the output i am your course title okay and now let's define the max maximum character for this as well max character is equal to and make sure that uh, you should type here an int value okay so otherwise you'll get an error like uh, for example i want to get only 60 characters okay so let's save it and yeah here as you can see we have zero out of 60 so i will write here hi sorry hi i am your uh, c or you are a c course t i t l course title and as you can see here we have 25 out of 60 okay so this is how you can define the maximum character and yeah here we have the output as well which is hi i am your course title okay so i hope that uh, you have understood this uh, text input field as well and now uh, let's talk about the text area field which i have mentioned that uh, it allow us to get a descriptive uh, input from the user okay so just right here text uh, area okay and then uh, uh, let's suppose i want to get uh, the course description from the user so i will write here c o u r s e course d s c r i p t i on course description and again you can define maximum characters the any callback okay so on change property it also supports on change property okay so if you want to uh, uh, call something on every change okay so let's save it and yeah here we have this course description and now uh, the area of this uh, uh, field is uh, quite bigger than our pre previous uh, text input field okay so you can uh, write here your whole essay or the whole description of the course okay and uh, there is a difference between uh, the text uh, input field and then this text area and that is uh, let's suppose if i write here uh, hi i m u m a i r omer okay and if i want to write uh, a new line on the next uh, line okay so i just need to press enter okay and my cursor is now on the next line because in order to move the text from this uh, text area field to the back and you need to press uh, control key plus enter key so i don't know whether it should work on mac along with the command and then enter so just see if you are using mac os then see here you will get the hint according to your os okay so hi omer uh, hi i am omer and uh, i will say and sorry uh, and i am a P R O G R A W M E programmer and uh, in order to submit this thing i just need to hold my control key and then i need to hit enter and yeah here is my output and that is hi i am omer and i am a programmer okay so this is how this uh, text input field work and now uh, the last two things which i will discuss in this tutorial is the uh, date input okay and the time input so if you want to get in that input from the user you just need to type here d a t dat underscore i input that input okay and i will say ent or enter your R E G I S T R A T I U and enter your registration that okay so if you have uh, such type of application where you need you want the user registration that okay so you can use this that input okay so let's save it and yeah here we have this uh, uh, enter your registration that okay so you can select uh, any debt from this drop down menu uh, you can even click on this you can select the month okay so if you want to get to the previous one month you can use these arrows okay and here we have these dates okay so if i select this as you can see we have this date here okay so uh, if you want to get a time input from the user like uh, 
if you are planning to create a uh, alarm or clock okay or something like timer okay so in that scenarios uh, this time input field really help you okay because it allow us to fetch time from the user okay so I will say uh, T is like a SCT set T I M E R set timer save it okay and yeah here we have this 1852 uh, which is uh, uh, the current uh, time okay so you can select uh, 15 seconds okay you can select 30 seconds you can select any time here okay so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this short tutorial and in the next tutorial uh, we will see something new about streamlit and i will see you in that tutorial till that point bye bye